Gang, Bugs Bunny over there with the headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> Starting out on a new permission here. And uh, the house is probably not that old a house, but you never know. We got a big side yard to hit, a backyard. So we'll give her a shot and get back with you when we start getting some. Gang, on a 1246 signal with the E track, this is my first find. Some kind of disability casualty number. Pretty cool. Don't know what it's all about, but on the back it's got some writing too. That's cool. Alright, we'll see if we can get something else. Alright, gang down about five inches there. Got my first coin. It's a weedy. 1953. I'm happy to have it the way the day's going so far. So, on to the next one. All right, gang, we're at a new spot here. Getting ready to get started. Ford's already on the roll. And he's sitting there, hey. So, we're gonna work this one out. I'm gonna try this sidewalk strip down through here with these trees a little bit. First out, and see what I can find. So, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm gonna dig this one live. Uh, it's over here where the shard so far that I've hit, uh, it's been hunted pretty hard. But this one's got me a little hope. It's over on the side there. There's a bunch of bushes that have been mowed down. And so I'm going to see what we find in here. It's ringing up kind of a strange, it's a bouncy signal. Hit 43, 44. Shows be pretty deep. There it is, right there. See it? Uh, it looks like a new dime. Bummer. Well, it could be clad, or it could be a zinc penny. I mean. So anyway, I'm happy to have it. Okay, on to the next one. I didn't do that good. All right, guys. Jeffy's got him a silver for the day. That's cool. 1944 Mercury. Awesome. Good job. Thank and you. I got me this piece of, I don't know what it is yet. It's blingy, trashy thingy. We gotta go. Yep, we gotta go. Cool. We'll be back. On to the next one. Hey, gang, I'm out doing a little solo hunting this morning. Down about five inches, I just popped this out. It's Andean. <clears throat> Not sure of the date yet. Uh, Smug at 1535 on the machine. It's been a good day. It's an old one. 18 something there. I'll get back with you on a date here in a second. All right, gang. 1891. Cool find. On to the... Hey, gang. Just down there about four inches or so. Got me Indian head. Or, uh, Weed head, 1920. That's cool. Okay, let's go on to the next one. All right, guys, I think I got my weed in here. I'm gonna live dig this one. All right. Very deep. Uh oh, I got burnt. What is it? Oh, it's a Model T valve stem cover. Flattened out. That's still a cool find. All right, on to the next one. Guys, in this hole I had three targets. I had a piece of aluminum, a piece of iron, and a wheat head. And the weed head, the signal was terrible. It's a good green weedy. Not sure of the date here. Let me see if I can get a date for you on it. Yep. Did 
digging in the gravel here. If you can see the date, it looks like an old one. Okay, on okay. to the next one. There's my object, you see it? Right there on the edge. It's not silver or anything. Let's share it together and see what it is. Probably junk. Pull it down there. Oh, it's a hammer. That's cool. That little hammerhead. That's a neat little find. First one I ever found. That's pretty sweet. Okay, on to the next one. You're not going to believe this, but I've got onto an Indian spill here. I've got two Indians and an old wheat. And I'm looking here. I see another coin. And it's a another wheat. That's two wheats and two Indians. And there's another coin or two down there. Seen it? Another one. Another wheat. I think, yeah, another wheat. That's three Indians and two wheats. There's another coin. Another wheat. Something else right there. Let's see what it is. There it is. Another wheat. Five Indians and two wheats. I'll check for more. All right, guys, I'll be check right. it out. Two Indians and five wheats in the same hole. What a find. 1900 on the Indians. And I haven't checked the wheats out yet, so on to the next one. Cool find. Okay, got another wheat, 1911, and a grommet. Now that same wheat pile. All right, that's six wheats and two Indians out of one hoe. Awesome. You guys, just got me out of the wheat down about uh, four inches there. 1940s model. Been a while since I dug a coin. And on to the next. Hey gang, got me another wheaty. 1940s model. That's number ten for the day. All right, gang, I'm at a new spot and I'm getting. Bombarded by blue jays. There's a baby blue jay there in the ground, and it can't fly. And mama blue jay's trying to get me. Oh my gosh! Oh! All right, on to the metal section thing. So, there used to be about three houses back here in the day, and they're all gone now. One there, one in the back, and one over here. And this is the old drive. So let's see what happens. On to the next. All right, guys, um, guys and gals, on the OE track, I'm coming up with a 12, 12.43. Sitting at pretty solid 1243, which is usually silver, but it's a bigger target. It could be clad also. So let's do a live dig together here. Get set up here. Get everything going. Bear with me a second here. I'll have us set up. All right, we are live digging now. Digging light. So I'm gonna do a jackknife plug. I call it my trap door special. So I just dig a little bit out and then I fold it over. See? Oh looky there. Look at that. Right there. A 1243 racer. Wow. Look at that dude. And got me a car. Hey gang, on the E track, another 1342 signal. 
and it looks like it's going to be a car park. Sure is. Car park. That's a bucket lister for me. Hey gang, I just dug up this junky ring. But it is a ring. Cool. I'll clean it up later. I know it's junk, but that's cool. Got a ring. On to the next one. Another car. Looks like a van. Crushed one. On to the next one. Guys, check this out. On a 1512 signal with the E-Track. Look at that. You know what that is? Look at the date. May 6, 1960. I think it's 1967. Or 1961. Yeah, 1961. It's the Freedom Capsule before the Apollo missions. That's cool. It's an AMVETS token. Wow, can you read it? Awesome. I can't read it. That's super cool. That dog keeps barking though. Oh well. That's awesome. May 5th, 1961. Awesome. Gang, I ain't sure what this is. I'll have to clean it up, but for one thing, I know it's lead paint. Yep. Alright, on to the next one. Guys, I'm going to film this one live. You see this old cutoff tree here? I want to show you a little bit about where I'm hunting. There was a building there. There was a tree here. There was a small building there. There was a building there. One behind, okay? Uh, it's been abandoned for at least 20 years. I can remember my aunt living here, and I was only about five. And I don't want to tell you how old I am, but that was a long time ago. So this tree's been gone for many years. So right here beside the tree, I got a screaming 1243 1243 both ways and it's deep I'm gonna say it's probably seven inches probably realistically five to six okay so I'm gonna turn off the machine here set up and dig it live okay so you guys know I do not cut anything out of my videos right so if this is the junk then it is what it is okay so I got my first clod out do my first thingy do my next thingy do my next thingy so we should be able to pinpoint it now right there's a piece of glass alright it's not as deep as I thought it was Probably a car now. Uh-oh. Look at that. Boy, I got burnt, slickered, and everything. Look at that. I really thought that was something good. But I won't cut it. It'll be in, the, it'll be in my video. So you guys that are sitting back laughing at me. That's old Missouri Mike. He's uh, keeping it real now. And, uh, there's another piece of junk in here. I know that's what that was. Them can lids will ring up that high, too. Yeah, there's a nail. All right, on to the next one. Sorry about that, but, gang, I'm back again. You just see me get burnt on that live dig. I will say one thing, at least that lid was an old one with the little pulley thoff thing. So I got a 1646 signal here. Still in the glass. There's some nails. There's a nail right there. And there's lots of junk in this ground now. But there's some good targets too. Probably another nail. This is a 1646 signal. 
There's a big nail. I've dug two nails out so far. Another target in there. There's three nails. There's what my target was right there. Piece of aluminum. On to the next one. Hey guys, it got me a weedy here at this site. 1950s. Alright, on to the next one. That's a little different unit, isn't it? Alright. Let's see what else we can get. Getting dark, I'm getting hungry too. A couple more digs I'm ready to go. Cool guys, got me an airplane. Bunch of cars and airplanes here. It's that's for sure. Hey guys and gals. Man, what a hunt. I've got a couple of hunts thrown together here. And I wanted to kind of show you what I'd found here. Uh, <clears throat> I got a lot of coins here. I mean, this is the most I've dug in one video section in a long time. I got three huge stacks of Zinkins there. Don't know how many there is. There's a bunch. I dug this hammer claw. That was pretty cool. This plate to a door. That was neat. I dug this C4 Joplin. I don't know what that is. Some kind of copper or something. Got me a Model T flattened out uh, valve stem cover. A couple, couple of uh, keys. One broke off. Just a ton of memorials in here. I mean a ton. All their memorials. I got two or three that are 1959. Here's one. 59D and then I got another 59 and a 60. There's a 69. Uh, I got another 59 in here. I dug probably 20, 20 or so dimes. Uh, about seven quarters there. And I dug this cool. This was cool. This was a, a token, but it uh, says uh, Freedom 7, May 5th, 1961. This is prior to the Apollo missions. Um, Jeff researched this out for me. And it's a, a medallion that they gave, I guess. And... Uh, just a pretty neat deal. It's got the Pledge of Allegiance on the back of it. Okay. Uh, just, a, just a neat deal. really is. Prior to the Apollo missions, this Freedom mission circled the Earth and did some pretty neat stuff. And this is a token that commemorates that. I guess it was worn around the neck or something there. That is a really neat find, though. 1961 May 5th that was the Apollo mission before the Apollo missions and so was this 1900 uh, Indian another 1900 Indian if you watch the video you've seen I got into an Indian spill with a bunch of wheat I got a couple Indians here I did dig another 19 or 1894 Indian right here that's a nice one too. Really sweet. Um, 1919 S, 1911, 1911 D. Uh, just a bunch of old wheats in here. A bunch, I say probably three, maybe four. It's a bunch for me. This old brooch, it's broken down. I got a deal here from disabled. Um, Not sure what all it's about. Anyway, it's got the town that I live in on it and everything. Pretty neat. Um, anyway, just a ton of coins in here. I just couldn't get them all laid out there. Just too many. Uh, I tried, but I just didn't have room. So anyway, great hunt. I appreciate it's coming along. I really do. And thanks for watching. And you know how it is. Oh. Forgot my ring here.
got me a voodoo ring with some skeleton guys on it. it looks like they went to Skull Island. That would be King Kong, if you know what I mean. So, anyway, as always, guys, get out and do some digging. On to the next one. This is Mike.